We're getting back in bed, it sounds like. Here we go with that baby crib again. Do we have a child? Hey, it's Zach. Hi. Welcome back. It's so good to see y'all. I know it's been a minute. It's been like a week. Me and Delise went on vacation to Jamaica. Now I'm back in Florida visiting my family. So it took me a little bit to get everything set up. But today we're checking out a channel called Dr. Nowhere. Y'all were asking me to check this out, especially for this one video called The Boiled One Phenomenon. Just looking at these thumbnails makes me want to end the video right now. But we're going to be checking out this channel today. I hope you're doing well. As always, shake my hand. This first video is called T-O-E Starving Dot Help. What the f toe? <laughs> is that his name? Is that what that is? A toe? Okay, so what he's trying to do right now is bust my brand new monitor that I just got yesterday. I'd appreciate it if you chill. It's like a $230 monitor. I spent a lot of money on this, so I'd appreciate it if you relaxed. He probably wants a handshake. That's probably all it is. Okay, all right, man. We need to, okay, are you coming through? And the video's over. Huh? This next one is called, Has This Ever Happened to You? All the lights. All the lights what? You can't, you can't just leave it at that. All the lights what? Has this ever happened to you? Let's see it. It's getting dark outside. It's dark you outside right now. You are ready for bed. I Grab am. a cold glass of water. I have one right here. turning off all the lights in the house. Oh, I got a couple on, just for safety measures. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that, that sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? No, I didn't feel that at all. Well, worry not. Worry not. We have a brilliant solution. Turn it on, Dad! There is something that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. Thank y'all for that one. Turn off all the lights in the house. Is the video over now? Thank you, God. Okay, what the? That scared me so fucking bad. It's like three in the morning right now. I hear knocking. This next one's called T O E Love Thumper. That sounds like a bad word. I'ma check it out. Is hello, hello. Is he in my TV? That's toe, right? What do you want? What do you want? I mean, he's got those long ass want? fucking. He probably wants to slice and dice ya. How you doing? How about you know what we should do? Please go away. I know how to make that happen. We can unplug away. the television. Right? Go. Hit the off. Ooh, he's coming in. He's coming through. Relax. Unplug the shit now. Turn the TV off. Change the channel. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got the shivers up and down my spine. I got the chills. Look. Look. He's caressing the door. Oh, fucking damn. Dude, I'm about to start swinging. I'm about to start swinging this episode. I'm not lying to y'all. Cranking the jaw? What are you going to do with that thing? You going to poke me with it? Go ahead. Oh, shit. Come on. There's room for two in this bed. Lay down next to me. I'll sing you a song. He doesn't fuck with socks. Oh, my gosh! The body appeared untouched. Who the fuck is laughing? You know what? I'm really not having fun this evening. This next one's called T-O-E Making Friends. Not me. Hell no. Maybe one of y'all wants to... No? What is this? Time to rise and shine. Okay. Mom making pancakes? What the fuck? Good children are up bright and early. Okay. What time is that? Six? No. Seven? Twenty-five? Good children play pretend. Okay. Y'all wanna... What the fuck? Okay, I thought I saw something mischievous. 
Uh, little potato children. <laughs> little chicken nugget friends. Good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. <laughs> what the? Hold on. Wait a minute. I was about to pause it. Until it's all gone. How the fuck are you supposed to play with it when it's all... Unless you reach inside or maybe the poop comes out and you... Play-Doh? I'm not... Guys, you need to relax. What the fuck was that? Hold on. I know I'm not... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> So he's inside the televisions. I love it a lot. Good children make friends. That's a beating heart. Uh, what? For governmental personnel? What? Penn Palace? Hello? Hi, Dominic. Yo, what's up, man? It's been like forever. Okay. The fuck? Dominic, you want to get slapped? Seriously, thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dominic, are you good? Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through some? If so, I'm here. You can talk to me, man. I'm your friend. Remember? Okay. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax, and you don't have to say nothing, but do you need something? Face call, please? Like, right now? Video call. It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am, man. Yeah, it's like 3 here. Whack time zones, remember? Yeah, we can't do that. Plus, the parents are sleeping. Please, now. Okay. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here to talk. Well, he wants to FaceTime with you, man. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay, yes, talk face. No, I seriously can't. <laughs> Sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please let me, friend. Seriously, are you okay, Dom? You're starting to worry me, man. Please, 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 please. Can we all relax? Can we all just relax? Dominic, how about you come over, man? Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Please, 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 please. Not cool, man, what the heck? Okay, okay. Please be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Okay. All right, my mom's a light sleeper. Yeah, I okay, he's starving. What the fuck? How you want me to ship you a pizza? What the fuck? Domino's, what do you prefer? Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those they were never fun okay well you know what i'm about to block this dude don't accept it don't accept it what the fuck none of it makes any sense he was doing a fucking jig y'all see that everything inside was gone who the fuck keeps laughing and the video's over I feel like they're laughing at me i know it's not you guys y'all never laugh okay the next one is called the boiled one phenomenon it turns out we've already watched this on stream so i'm just gonna put that clip in here and let y'all watch it with me the first time i checked it out uh because it's a good one so y'all enjoy it and i'll see you on the other side i bet they're cooking i bet they're cooking handshakes real quick i bet they're about to cook Warning, this video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognito hazardous condition. Make sure you have the following. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 9110. All right, man. Well, now I got to fucking look up the Bible. Are you fucking for real? I just want to read the damn Bible. I Dude, this should be illegal. Let's see Bible Hub. Where's it at? What? I just want to read the damn verse. The no harm will overtake you. We got it. We got it, y'all. We got it. No harm will overtake us. Sure, sure. Let's see. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues, tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and run to your pencil and paper. Shit, here we go. Here we go. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am a moving, breathing human being on the planet Earth. After these words are written, 
recite Psalms 91.10 aloud. If memories and images play in the events that you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered am amnesthetics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterward. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Shout out God. Who believe in God? Many appear to lead. Okay, we just read that. The boiled one phenomenation. Phenomenation. 2003. Tree of heaven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. This program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily dedicated towards children. The star of the show would talk about the wonders of nature and dangers of how to appreciate it. Unfortunately, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Rest in peace in the chat. Or maybe not. Then something odd happened. On August 13th, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Good morning, bushwhackers. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Okay. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Y'all ever been in poison oak? We aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. Okay. So let's get going, shall we? Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. Okay. In China and Taiwan. One of these Shout out China and Taiwan. made its way to America in the 1700s. Oh, wow. It took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Sure. Okay. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous bod broadcast would hijack the program. It depicted videos of a red melted face that spoke to the viewer. I don't want to see that. It will be referred to as Fen228. As Fen spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would occasionally be overlaid on the screen. Though most remember Fen speaking English, multiple non-speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. The following clip is a restored, oh shit. It's been shortened, the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened, these, uh, okay, all right. No, no, I, you know what, I don't wanna fucking hear this. It says insert your earplugs! This broadcast will be referred to as Broadcast 813. Broadcast 813 was viewed roughly by 530 residents. Dude, I used to live, I used to live right there. I used to live right there. This shit was way close to my house. Fuck out of here. Many were left distraught. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia, uh, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Okay, I'm a... Uh, many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Fen's face out of their minds. Some even continue to hear his voice days after viewing. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Oh my gosh. None of these people knew that was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering they would never fully understand. <laughs> August 14, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television, the NERC was ordered by, to, okay, they it disabled the power grid. I cannot read this shit fast enough. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada, creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Almost 50 million people were without power. Damn, for days. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of Broadcast 813 were collected by the Alfreda branch and wiped from existence including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast. It, damn, they wiped it from the internet. The cause of the blackout was covered up. Uh, 
It was blamed on the power lines, but the damage had been done. But they can't erase our memories, right? They can't erase our memories. We know what we saw. 12 days after the broadcast was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of pudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look up the word pseudocoma. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, it's called locked in syndrome. Who in here has got pseudocoma? I know I do. All right, damn that. Well, that's fucked up. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences syrup, blah, 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 blah. Bro, they didn't even give us a fucking damn chance. They are unable to move. They, except for vertical eye movements and blinking. Okay. Who said Sigma grind set? This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the U.S. Department of Health and was put under governmental investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients have been watching TV the night the broadcast was aired. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Get the fuck out of here. Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they could communicate through Morse code. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Thank you, NACO, for the two months. Many of these interviews held unalive, unavailing questions and led to more questions. Questions, questions, questions. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Afeta branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one job Zamperni, an elderly victim of the anomalous outbreak. Okay. Job Zamper can we can we talk about that? What kind of name is Job Zamperni? Specifically requested his alias to be used in future... Okay, so it's an alias. Okay, so it's kind of funny. He was a war vet, fluent in Morse code. As soon as the outbreak was under investigation, they put him under the... They wanted to interview him. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by visiting his grandson, the family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes that his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts Fenn standing next to the small playhouse in the backyard. What the fuck? It's safe to view from a distance of three or more, three feet. Y'all back up. I was not expecting bro to be that fucking tall. What the shit? Okay, that, that kind of set chills on my spine. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. They claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. What's up, Zoo Code? How you doing, man? The following is a recovered previously archived recording in which Officer T. Gomez uh, interviews him. I'll see you, man. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition? and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice you any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Face, huh? It was a face. Hmm. When I'm gonna turn the lights off. seeing this face? Interesting. Many of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Can you please describe this face to me? Yeah! He said it's in the window. Hmm. Horribly burnt, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. Are these screams constant? At night before I sleep, I hear trumpets. Thank you. 
you shedding light on this is helping more than you know. Ah! Wait a minute, the sign is changing, y'all! I can see you. Not me. Oh, fuck. There you go, right there. How you doing? All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, no. That's, you know, it is what it is. Okay, and there he goes. Wonderful day, the miracle of birth, a fetal fanfare. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. The scalding blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast for birthday. Together, melded by love and purest connection. Be still. Okay, guys. Um, I, I think I'm gonna go now. <laughs> oh, I'm okay, guys. I, I think I just gotta go. So, I'm gonna go. <laughs> but, but, I, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Right? <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. I just watched it again. The fact that he comes through the TV, I don't like it. The final episode so far is called The Boy and the Bath. Uh, what? what what's, what's the boy doing in the bath? Your body remains unclean from yesterday. You are in no condition to sleep like this. Yeah, you can't sleep dirty, man. A shower will make you better. Comment of the day. Do y'all shower in the morning or right before you go to bed? What's that about? What the? Do we have a baby? Y'all saw that crib? Uh-uh. If something jumps out this damn door. Okay. All right. But it wasn't my fault. Who are you? Okay, well, I don't know the I don't know the facts of the case yet, but we'll we'll let you know. This kind of reminds me of like a point and click game. With like the hand. See just like that. Let's see who's taking a shower. Dude, the shower fucking melted his skin off and made him fucking 12 feet tall. Why do you leave me here? Okay, first of all, I don't know you. Second of all, you were the one taking a shower, man. You want to shower with me? What's going on? I never existed to you. Well, you exist to me now. Yeah, let's slam that fucking door shut. I'm done. I'm done. We're getting back in bed, it sounds like. Here we go with that baby crib again. Do we have a child? Oh, oh dude, I just choked. I just choked. <laughs> this fucking big ass baby. It was all my fault. You were the one who went in the fucking shower with the. It's over. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out Dr. Nowhere in the description down below. This was a fun look at his channel. Uh, it's good to be back. I'm sorry if I was all over the place this episode. It's been a minute since I recorded something, so it kind of feels a little foreign to me, but you know what doesn't feel foreign? Secret double handshake. Anyway, remember that you can do anything you put your minds to. I believe in you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.